What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. All right guys, I'm doing this specific video because a lot of people in the comment section on the free to play section side are having a lot of issues, specifically with 2212 because Bizang is faster and they have Jury in this fight with Elena and they're getting outsped. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm also going to get outsped, but how to do this the best way possible. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is the same team I've been using all along. So if you haven't caught on yet, C Viper or Gryl are going to be your top DPS. Like you need them in this game to advance as far as and as fast as we're going. So here's the goal, okay? So here's the team setup. Uh, Street Poison here is going to buff damage for C Viper and everybody else. Uh, here He's here to interrupt, but he's going to be second to interrupt, not first, because the other B Zhang is going to interrupt probably most likely faster than me, unless I get lucky and I manually play faster than them. Manual is going to be the only way to do this, guys, if you're being outsped in auto, okay? Bison's here to take the hits, obviously. Cam's here to, to do armor break as soon as he blows up. She'll get triggered. And then here, uh, my guy set up to do saber. So in order to give um, C Viper as many sabers as possible to ignore defense and just rip through the opponents. Okay, so watch this. I know some of you are having problems with this, so I just wanted to make this video real quick to show you guys. Watch. Let's do it again. I'll show you real quick. Just have to time it super quickly. This, this, and quickly into this, okay? Right into that as quick as you can, and then go into this one. And you should be able to heal here fast enough. And then get back into your combo. Okay. Oh, I died again. I was just bad timing again. Okay, let's, uh, you know what? It should still be okay. Let's just see if I can finish this. See if I can finish this though. There, there, and there. Right, there you go. So it still worked out. So you have to you have to manual this, okay? You cannot auto it. So I know a lot of people are stuck because they're waiting for auto to do its combo. Stop waiting for auto to do your combo for you. It's not gonna work. You're gonna have to manually do that. Now that comes for any quick B Zhang fight. And I wanna go into something real quick for you guys. To avoid this in the future, if you guys are focusing on specific units, the first unit, if you're gonna play auto, Specifically, if you're going to play auto, to get to 221 is going to be B Zhang. You have to push him to 221 as soon as you can. The reason why is this passive over here, when the battle begins, the fighter gains 50 speed for 8 seconds, is going to actually make you go first 90% of the time. Okay? So you're going to have to get him to 221. Now, there's two ways to do it. Number one, to get him to triple S uh, first. That's going to be a lot of RNG involved, right? The second way, of course, is to get all your other units to 221 and put him into the limit break section of the jo dojo in order for him to be 221 no matter what rank he is. The second thing you want to note is your next unit that you want to get up is going to be C Viper or Guile, your main DPS. They have to be 220 minimum to get from 20 to 20, 23, 24, 25, etc. without too much of a headache or, or hassle, okay? If you're not focusing in those units, everything else falls to the wayside. It's, it's useless. If, you, if, you, if that's all you're going to focus on, uh, you should be focusing on that more than anything else because everything else is just going to set you back. So even getting Bison up, for example, you don't need to. Bison will just continuously blow up, keep doing re revival with Infernal King, and give you buffs and do more damage to the opponents. The only time it becomes critical of Bison uh, not getting blown up all the time is if he fights people like Mad Ryu because when he does blow up, he becomes uh, open to the back units getting hit. So if that happens, then unfortunately your back units will suffer while he's reviving, right? So again, not a necessity to get Bison up. Um, your support also doesn't necessarily need to get past 220. Uh, they, they just, sorry, I forgot to give her something. Um, they just need you to have uh, some form, uh, some at least a 180. 180 to 200 is, is viable enough for support. You don't need to push them any further. Now your assist, on the other hand, the further you push them up, Obviously, the more stats you get, and, and that's going to matter a little bit, but that's just stat padding. So these two units, guys, are going to be what matter most to you for your progression. So I hope the manual versus autoplay, which I've been hoping to just continuously put into your heads, guys, have, have kind of paid off at this point, and you guys are uh, not you know suffering from being lazy and playing auto. Because let's be real, unless you're a whale, auto doesn't get you too much in this game, right? Now, I want to just quickly reiterate a couple things. What affects autoplay? Number one, your timing, obviously. Uh, if you don't time, if you don't, there's no timing involved in auto. It'll just, as soon as a super's up, it's gonna perform it. Now, how fast and how frequently it performs a super and how, how quickly it presses the button on your behalf is based on the speed of your actual unit. So if you don't, if you have low speed, auto itself won't trigger quick enough for you, right? It's gonna tr trigger slowly. So if you're gonna play auto, you're gonna have to remember that speed plays a very big factor in how auto plays itself and how quickly it will actually perform combos on your behalf 
So that's another reason why having Bi Zhang up there with speed and having units like Chun Li and other speedy units like Gen and Vega and stuff will matter a lot for auto because they make auto go faster. Guys, let's do this fight and I'll show you guys the difference between auto and manual, right? Let's just do auto here real quick and see, see what happens. You guys can kind of see the difference, right? Now, there's no timing involved here. It's just going to do what it wants to do. It's going to either out DPS the opponent, which is possible it's in some, to some extent, but usually boss fights, that's not going to be the case. So we'll see what happens here. So you can see here, my Sea Viper died, my Bison's dead. Okay, so that's that's all, right? We're still fairly close, but now let's see the difference when you actually time it yourself. Let's just do an actual auto fight. We'll do times two right now. Okay, we're going to watch for their gauge quickly. To make sure it doesn't go too fast. And we're going to do this. Hopefully interrupt. If we don't get interrupt, that's fine. We can at least time our, auto, our, our, our um, EX moves as well. And that's another thing to note. Setting up auto with the EX moves that you have, it's going to matter a lot because sometimes it will perform the wrong EX move because of the placement that you set it at, right? So you're going to have to somewhat be involved. So there is a difference between auto and manual, right? A, a win versus a defeat. Fairly fairly easy there to get done. So again, if you want to auto, guys, to auto effectively, effectively you're going to need to have a lot of speed. You're going to have to set up your EX moves correctly, and it's going to matter fight by fight. So the EX moves will have to be moved around based on your opponents. Well, with manual, you have full control. So definitely put some more effort into manual. All right, guys, this is Payne. I uh, hope this video helped out for those who were stuck on uh, 22, what was it, 2212 uh, with B-Zang. Um, again, don't need to time it all the time. You just need to be faster sometimes in manual, and auto won't do that for you. All right, guys, Payne, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.